The opening night of the 2024 American Documentary and Animation Film Festival was headlined with a special screening of actor Sean Penn's film Superpower. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura is in Palm Springs with more on the festival that's attracting filmmakers from around the world. Bianca. Hi, Karen. Good evening. We had the chance to speak with filmmakers and directors here at the 13th annual American Documentary and Animation Film Festival. Over 2,000 films were reviewed and screened for this film festival, and the crowds that lined up today throughout this entire block were highly anticipating Sean Penn's film Superpower that captured the moments when Russia invaded Ukraine. Take a look. I think our hearts all break yeah. when it, we look at the Ukraine and what's happened. Sandy Appleby is visiting Palm Springs from Canada and says attending the American Documentary and Animation Film Festival made the perfect birthday gift. Although the conflict in Ukraine is a heavy topic, she's thankful for an opportunity to learn more. I think it's really touching, the whole idea, that Sean Penn was there to record something completely different and the war broke out. Palm Springs resident Steve Pompeo says he's been attending the Amdoc Film Festival since it first debuted over a decade ago. You know, one of the standout films from the past was The Salton Sea because that's a big issue in this valley. So I really, that was a standout film from all these years. And I, I know they're doing one again this, this season, so I'm going to try to get to that one too. One of the films highlighting The Salton Sea this year includes Passing Through, which focuses on Bombay Beach, the resort town, turn no man's land. Most people thought of it as like an abandoned ghost town for a while and now it's been revived by a community of artists that have, are breathing new life into this town and bringing awareness to the environmental issues surrounding the Salton Sea. From environmental issues, the arts, to wellness and politics, the film festival offers a variety of screenings for inquisitive viewers including a deep dive of Governor Gavin Newsom's early career as then mayor of San Francisco. His own brother-in-law shot the pursuit of equality, capturing Newsom's work 20 years ago to legalize same-sex marriage in California. For that younger generation who wasn't around in 2004, 2010, it's a great opportunity to come and see the film and see what it was like 20 years ago and see how brave uh, Gavin Newsom was and how determined these couples were to get married and have equal rights. A variety of films will be screened through Monday, featuring films that focus on entrepreneurship, human rights, food, and so much more. And KESQ's very own Emmy Award-winning series, Troubled Waters, will also be screened at the film festival tomorrow. You can find more details at KESQ.com. I'm live here in Palm Springs. Bianca Ventura, back to you.